which ratcheted the boats into the Chernobyl reactor. Now we're going to the turbine hall of the six unfinished power unit of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, and we'll look for the same tunnel for the shelter. Boats at the nuclear power plant, so, so crazy. We searched but found no other way. Which of the stalkers did this? Look at this mess. Guys, lift the boat higher, otherwise we will pierce it. Two's lifted higher. The finish line, let's see what's next. Damn, he fell down. You're tired? I can't see anything under the boat. Anyways, let's keep moving. Let's blow it off. No need, we're almost there. <laughs> Left it, don't drag it. See what's below, this is where we just sailed, as I understand. Although the water is clear here, we probably didn't make it here. Careful, there is an open pit. Zeus, watch out, there is a big pit, be careful. There is water down there. The way he's going down the ladder looks scary. Look, guys, the crane fell over there. They lowered the boat. How's it, comrade? 460? It reaches 500, and when we rode in a boat, it was 120. Because water neutralizes radiation. Why are you turning on the saw? What are you guys doing? Guys, we have probably noticed that I began to use the new dosimeter spectrometer radio code 101 on a scintillation crystal. It's more than 20 times faster than conventional dosimeter on the Gadger tubes. It is able to measure radiation at every point even while running. You can record radioactive tracks on Google Maps. And the most amazing thing, it can identify types of radioactive elements. The device works up to 20 days on one battery charge. Just put the radio code 101 in your pocket or bag and carry it with you at all the times. If you find yourself in an area with radiation, the device will give a vibration and a sound signal. The body of the dosimeter has good dust and moisture protection. It has a cool mobile app for smartphones and a program for the computer. I will attach a link to this device in the description. We got a new ukulele. Dima, what's there? I don't understand why you're trying to turn it on. Was it loud? I think no. Hope nobody heard us. Everyone has already left for home. Another shift of guard should come today. We'll go around the fallen crane, but I don't see the tunnel. Does it supposed to be there? You didn't see? Yes, there is a very comfortable descent. We can see what happened in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. A crane collapsed. Here, in fact, it's very dangerous. Okay, that's where it fell from. It just broke and fell down. It's standing quite unsafe. Well, this is a nuclear reactor itself, the fifth power unit. This is the turbine hall and this is the fifth power unit. Do you see those metal sheets? They were specially sheeted on the walls. Yes, it was protection against radiation to protect the fifth one when the fourth exploded. Over oh, there is around 600, but here is 315. Because the nuclear fallout fell here, look, the fourth power unit is nearby, it's very close. What happened? Maybe we were heard. Why does it shake us? Do we need this? No. So guys, we came out of the tunnel, now we'll try to get into another tunnel. What happened there? Comrade fell down. A crane fell from the reactor of the fifth power unit. Another tunnel should pass from this pond, which leads to the place where we need to go. Alex, what's with the radiation? 
It's bad with rotation here because the fourth power unit is located nearby. Do you have a dosimeter? It's with camera. He says the radiation is high. How much did he say? 500. That's bad. It's very bad, but it's also water that neutralizes it, and under the water probably it would be terrible. How bad is it for us? We have to endure. Will we have vomiting? Well, is it forbidden to sail in boat here? <laughs> I think that such a law hasn't yet been thought up. Let's go under these piled up structures. Look how scary everything looks here. It might fall on us now. It can barely hold on the air when it fell, it's stuck on the wall, so it can fall at any moment. By the way, what is the correct name of the water body on which we are sailing now? This is called the bed of the turbine hull of the six power unit, they simply didn't have time to build it. Dima, when did it fall? The crane? Yes. I don't know exactly, but it was a long time ago. To be honest, this is my first time here, and this place is just amazing. I'm delighted. We're right under the broken crane now. In which year did it fall and how? I think it just fell from old age and weather factors. Is not connected with the fact that once a helicopter got caught on the ropes here? No. Is Dima right? Yeah, he's right. I read the history of this place. Can you hear the thunder? Yesterday a strong thunderstorm in the evening is forecasted. Careful, we're sailing right under the broken crane. There is a transformer that has not yet been unwound. Is there high radiation on this metal? 115, but that's a lot considering we're on the water. We have a hole in the boat and Alex is holding his finger in the punctured place. He's holding his finger in radioactive water. Yeah, the finger aches a little. Push us away of the transformer. Well, yes, there is a transformer in the middle of the pond. A huge one, probably 300 kilowatts or maybe more. Gently hold on to the cables from above. There's a lot of dust. Look what huge pipes laid somewhere under the water. Alex, what will you tell the law enforcement agencies who will watch this video? Let them not be offended. We're not doing anything bad. We're not violating the norms of radiological safety and behaving decently. Not even shouting. Dima, are you enjoying this ride? Yes, absolutely. Wow, how beautiful it is here. I really like it. That's why we are here. I have the coolest guide, his name is Dima Litvinov. He promised water treatments and took me to such a beautiful place. We haven't drowned yet. We're getting radon baths. Yes, we're taking radon bath. Do you know what this location can be called? Little Venice. Little Venice? <laughs> Look, a 1,000-ton structure fell into the water and no one knows what is underwater. There, perhaps, under the water, someone's body is lying crushed. It's possible. Well, we need to go ashore and see where the tunnel is. Wow, looks like some interesting things there. The pipe is completely walled up with bricks. This is to prevent talkers from coming out of the air. I want to go out and see what's there. I also want to go out and walk around. Now Dima will show how to get out of the boat. So what's interesting here? Here is at a huge wall of the reactor. Is there anything interesting here, sis? Why are they cut out? Look at the pipes, there are some boards in it. By the way, you can go through the pipe to this building. There are a lot of different pipes here, there are some kind of valve.
Friends, despite the fact that we didn't get into the fourth power unit, our walk continues. We have been here for 12 hours and having a great time. This is a very unique place. Alex, what are these sounds? This is from the boat, air is coming out. Well, this camrade is driving me crazy. Now I'll discipline him. We'll arrange a disciplinary battalion for him now. By the way, can he swim? <laughs> <laughs> we drank radioactive water. What is he doing? <laughs> Comrade, are you asking for trouble? You'll be in trouble now. Why are you throwing stones? What kind of jokes are these? I came with a guitar. I'm an art lover. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Nobody's watching us here. You can do a sin as they say. Come on! What are you doing? Why did you cut the boat? Damn, what's wrong with you guys? Now keep swimming there. Where's my ukulele? It's over there on the boat. Tima, hold the boat. I'll take my guitar. Please hold it. I'll give you $50 for this. What are you doing? Give it back, please. I'll forgive you for everything. What are you doing, sus? You're a moron. That's it, now go home on foot. Have you guys lost it? Damn, so the swimming in the radiation water. How do you like the radioactive water, is it cold? <laughs> Guys, don't be offended. We are in a positive mood. We are friends, so everything is fine. I just don't understand what happened all of a sudden. <laughs> Damn, he's swimming near a nuclear reactor. There are 200 micro engines in water, Zeus. Let me lie on my back in the water. Zeus, get out of the water quickly. There is a high radiation. No. Zeus, where are you going? What are you doing? Dima, what is he doing? Everything's fine, he's just trying to calm down. They're crazy, they just went crazy with the radiation. Is it okay for you to swim in radioactive water? Damn, you bat in the suit. Measure the radiation on his feet. Let me check it. 260, 210, this is the dirtiest place. Look, turn your back. Well, here it shows 300. Now the jacket needs to be burned. I'll just throw it out. We need to go to the rector as soon as possible before no one comes because of our noise. You fell into the water too? Only my one leg was wet, but it dried up quickly. I'm a hot guy. Damn, why did you get there again? Are you going to repair it? Yes, it can be fixed and still used. I'll give it to my children. Why did he cut it? I can get it. Sus came out of the radioactive sewer. Let's check the radiation here. 500! That's okay. Now it's 460, but it was 500. It's okay for this place. Everything will be fine. 520, guys. Damn, at least your guitar cover survived. Anyways, now we got to leave. Let's climb this ladder. This is how we leave from this place. There is no way out of here. This is the only way found. Everyone is already very tired. Now we'll go to the active zone and then to the turbine hall and then maybe we'll find the hard particles near their pathway. Let's take a little rest because the radiation must be assimilated, right? Should the radiation be absorbed by the body? I'm afraid it will show 500 now on my body. By the way, you have some red spots on your body, probably a particle got there. Where, this one? Yes. I had a mite there. Meaty? Yes, a couple of days ago. After it, this may remain for a couple of weeks or a month and sometimes even a year. Whoa. It disappears when it injects its poison. You get such a reaction on your body. Dima, what's going on? We have been standing here for five minutes. Can you get through it? Whoa, you're trembling so much from radiation. Guys, I want to find a hot particle with a super sensitive dosimeter. I managed to find an anomalous zone. The radiation is very high here. Look, it rises here to 1700, 1800, 1900. 
Now already they remove the soil and then this hot particle gets into the soil, we'll see it. So I'm picking up the hard soil somewhat like this. Measuring it, you see it shows 800. I put it aside. Chicken. Wow, 2000, 2400. So it's already close, we'll find it now. As with the metal detector. No, not there. Look, 2000. Well, see here, it's already 2500. 2600, we're getting closer. Let's dig it up. Is it deeper down? This is a piece of graphite. It's very small. I see. Like a grain of sand, you see how deep these particles are now, they settle under the layer of soil, so the radiation decreased. I can't even pinpoint where it is. There are a high level in the middle part, we'll search here. Further there are crushed stones, it probably got through them, it can go deeper and deeper. Anyways, let's go to another place and continue there. Guys, now we're going to the active zone, one of the most dangerous places of the 5th power unit. What's dangerous there? Is there more radiation? Of course, but we won't be there for long, so everything will be fine. Here's our way, now we need to pass through the air. Team, are you tired? Yes. <laughs> Cyber Seuss nagged and climbed down the nuclear power plant. But we never go to the active zone, so we started feeling bad and we decided to leave the exclusion zone. So the next video will be from the hospital. We're leaving the zone, the wire fence is in a perfect condition here, which means the stalkers haven't come here before. I don't know why Dima took us here. Guys, quick, let's go quickly, we can already see the asphalt. Come on, quick, but be careful. We're leaving the exclusion zone. That's it, feather, it's all felt. It's an indicator of 900 Becquerel. The stalkers took us there.